Hey guys, this time in Seaport, I'll be talking about the museum. The museum, the level 1 museum can let you put 8 ships in there, and each ship will get 25 gold an hour, and that will mean that if you have 8 ships in here, you'll get 200 gold an hour. That might seem a little bit okay, decent, but if you really do the math, if you send ships to Riveria, at least for me with 270 bonus, you know, some of you might be higher or lower, depending how many, how many, how much gold you've collected from this. I suspect lower, but a relatively good amount. For me, at 800 cargo capacity in my whole fleet, near 900, I'll be getting 700,000 gold if I send there three times a day. If I upgrade this museum to level three and have it fully stocked, which is, uh, let's see, 16 ships in there, that will be almost 10,000 gold. So decent level, let's say level three, 10,000 gold. 9.5 9 thousand really, but if I take 9.5 divided by 700,000 of gold I can get per day, that's that comes down to 1.3%. That's 1% more if I put the ships in here. Now granted, if it's ships that you never use and never use again, that's fine because the ships are just sitting in here and they're not really doing anything. You still have to get the hassle of collecting this. I wish they just make this automatic. The gold is so little, it doesn't matter. It's, I guess they still want you to log in. Oh, I guess a, this icon still doesn't doesn't increase even if you zoom out. Interesting. <laughs> the wood looks actually really small now. Things I learned after being level 140. So back on the museum, is there's no reason no real reason, you will think there's no real reason to not put in the ships in here and get some one-time XP bonus and get some gold over time. That's great. However, if you're going to be upgrading ships to put into the museum, there's a problem. If you take a ship that's not upgraded, let's pick a low, low level ship. Oh. Uh, let's pick a ship like this. Upgrade it. 5,000. Okay, not a lot, but look at all these other resources. If you upgrade five times, it goes up. So, I'm buying the ship. What if I want to buy a ship just to get it to level five and then put it in the museum? Would that make sense? And I just took an arbitrary number. If I take 200,000 to buy a ship and fully upgrade it, a little bit higher, a little bit low, depending on what kind of ship you're putting in there. At 25 gold an hour, which is a level one per hour rate, it'll take you... Uh, almost a year to to get the 200,000 back through this and you have to come in to log in to click every day so is it a good investment to buy a ship upgrade and put it in here no not really is it a good idea to put uh, ships in here that you never use and will never use again in there yeah that's a good idea I have no qualms against this because it's only pro no real con Except one thing I thought about. So I think during a few missions ago where you can collect candlesticks, that mission you can send your boat here and it wasn't it wasn't haunted reef. It was uh, coconut, bamboo, bamboo leaves, that sort of thing. What happened then was there was a event mission achievement that you can collect Like this, complete the voyage to haunt to wreck 15 times. And you get this reward, which is pretty decent. The problem is, what if I don't want the items I get? This, what if I don't want Haunted Reef? It takes 70 crew. What if I don't want this? But you can't control, uh, you can't take a ship that says, hey, I can, I can carry 37 cargo and I can go there. You can't send Victoria there and say, hey, I only collect, collect one item, unless your gold is so low that you only buy one item. You can't manually control that. So what's the other way to control that? Pick a ship that can you can send there and it will carry less. Is that ideal? No, but it seems like that's the only case that I wouldn't put ship in the museum. Otherwise, I would. But this takes 70 crew and this takes 40 crew. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much I, 
I guess until you can dynamically choose how many ships you can send to a place for the sake of getting event achievements, I don't. This is not a major source of gold, anyways. <laughs> Sending a ship here for five minutes will make me all that, and only take thirty crew. So, will I be putting more ships in here? Not really. It's just makes me guarantee I can't never use that ship again. And some time ago they buffed some ship and I'm now using some ships that I weren't using before because they changed the values and it became better than the ones I was using so I had to put some away and put some new ones in there. Uh, is the museum a good idea? Yeah, but um, doesn't seem to pay off enough for me to just actually put away a ship. I don't know. You guys can put uh, any amount of ships in there you want, but which is fine either way. But don't expect too much gold from this. Ten thousand. If ten thousand gold is a is a lot to you, then uh, I think if you're level hundred, then that's not a lot. If you're level sixty, you're not not a lot. It's not a lot. It's much better just send your ships to collect gold. It's just a much better option. Uh, this in a, in in the scale of anything, it's not that big. I'll say a one to two percent difference. I mean, it's it's still free money if you don't use it, so that's pretty good. I mean, the only thing that stops me from doing is this, is the ship rebalance. And even then, I can send some ships in, but it seems like a weird thing that you can't take it out again. Like what, what if you can just take it back out again for the same price? Well, why not that? I don't see any... It's not very museum of it, but why not? Because that would be nice. That would encourage people to buy more ships. If all your ships are... If you interchangeably just move a ship here and just move it back. Supposedly, if, they, if they're not going to use a ship there, then what's the problem of taking it back out if they want to use it? I don't know. I just I just feel there's a there's a no reason they add that constraint. I don't think there's a reason to. And it only takes away choices. Like what if I like the look of a ship and want to take it out? <laughs> Is there a reason to stop me? If I want to take a really really crappy ship, <laughs> I mean this ship looks fabulous. What if I do want to see my dock? I I do want to see it move around, not just only a. 3D angle of it, like it's like that looks nice, but okay. I don't know. Anyways, enough of my ranting. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of the stuff, just go to uh, Seaport Wiki. It's seaportgame.wikia.com. And you find it in the museum, and you can see all these numbers. Whoever manages this website, uh, oh, not manage the website, but they put in the data, it's pretty good. It helps me a lot when I'm making decisions. This doesn't seem like a huge amount. I mean, you have to put in 24 ships, that's quite a bit. If, you, if at this point you're upgrading some ships, this doesn't pay off very well. I think later on, if I see higher numbers, yes. But unless we can buy a lot of ships, then uh, it doesn't seem to make sense. Actually, let me just do do some math. Let's do some math. If I take, let's see, coins per ship over twenty six hours. So seven fifty four divided by twenty six hours. Yeah, it makes twenty nine. <laughs> So every time you upgrade a museum level, you get one more coin per ship per hour. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Not a lot if you're sending it to the to these places. It just it just pales in comparison. 
it's nice. Like if you look at this one hour, you can get quite a bit of these ships, but I guess it makes sense if you log in once a day as a passive income. But if you really want to get more ships and uh, sending out to here just makes it look like nothing. So it's good if you already have ships you don't care about. It's bad if you're upgrading ships just to put it in the museum. Uh, and don't go broke putting money of upgrading museum because it's just one more resource sink and it doesn't pay all that well just think like one one percent or maybe like a bit more let's see if this is if this is one percent then this is like two point ish percent i guess it'll make sense later on but the amount of resource required is look at all the gold here 28, you need like three days just to pay off two or three days just to pay this off which isn't too bad I'm surprised these are not two million to upgrade but the wood if you're if you're if you're lacking resource don't upgrade these <laughs> hmm anyways that's it I'll see you guys next time if you disagree with me which is quite a possibility tell me if you agree with me why because I don't think I'm totally correct here. At least not later on, it might make sense. Anyways, uh, it's been nice. See you next time. Goodbye.